Hello, Grace Covenant Church. Hello, family. I hope you're doing well. This is Pastor Marianne, just bringing you a little Christmas cheer. We are celebrating Advent this month, and Advent means the coming of Christ. And so uh, during this Advent, I wanted to encourage you to be an announcer. And I'll explain all of what I mean about that. Well, there was the birth of John the Baptist. Many of us celebrate every year uh, the birth of Christ through, by celebrating the Christmas holiday. But I don't know how many of us really celebrate the birth of John the Baptist. So I want to tell you a little bit about the circumstances that surrounded the birth of John the Baptist. John the Baptist's uh, dad and his mom were God-fearing people. They loved the Lord. His father was actually a priest in the temple. And this is a moment when his father received a visitation from one of the angels of the Lord. And Luke chapter 1, verse 11 says, Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you will call him John, and he will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and he is never to take wine or other fermented drink. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many people, many people of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. This is all that was spoken about John the Baptist before he was born. But for many of us, these same words really could be spoken of us before we are born into the kingdom of heaven. I'll read it again. It says, He will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and he is never to take wine or other fermented drink. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many to many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous. God is looking for many people to do as John the Baptist did. Have you ever read about his life? He was a great forerunner. He came before Jesus. He was actually related to Jesus. Six months before Jesus was born, John the Baptist, his cousin was born. But his main purpose in life, what God had called him to, was to announce the coming of Christ to be an announcer. We all have an opportunity to receive the power from God, the power in the spirit of Elijah. Elijah was a great prophet in the Old Testament. Well, we can ask God for that same power, the boldness to be a witness, to announce the coming of Christ, coming into the lives of people, coming into the hearts of people. Will you take that challenge? Will you take that opportunity to be an announcer for Christ? All you need to do is to receive from God this command, receive from God this encouragement to receive that power to be a witness, to be an announcer for Christ. I want you to put your comment in the chat. Put, put, put a comment there for us to let us know that you're joining all of our GCC family. We are going to be mighty announcers 
for the coming of Christ. He is coming. He has come, but he's coming back again. Join me. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye-bye.